Good evening, you're watching the news from the Salted Silverman Television. First, the headlines. Setting up of a Chinese industrial area in Dukum Zone and expansion of a container terminal in Sohar Port are announced. The Royal Camel Corps wins His Majesty's Cup for Camel Races this year. And the Salted maintains the seventh rank at the list of the most attractive destinations in Islamic global travel market. Those are the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent cable of greetings to His Excellency President Prokopius Pavopoulos of Greece on his country's national day. His Majesty the Sultan received a cable of thanks from His Excellency President Mauricio Macri of Argentina in reply to His Majesty's cable of greetings on his election as President of the Republic. Setting up of a Chinese industrial area in Dukumzon, an expansion of container terminal in Sohar Port, topped investments announced at Oman Economic Forum in its fifth edition which was held in Muscat. Special Economic Zone Authority at Dukum mentioned that it is going ahead in signing procedures to establish a Chinese industrial area which will be built on an area of 900 hectares. The Supreme Council for Planning revealed the work start to establish in cooperation with Chinese partners a new container terminal in Sohar Port will accommodate 5 million containers. The forum witnessed announcing of establishing strategic relations between the Sultanate and China in port sector. The Royal Camel Corps won His Majesty's Cup at the conclusion of the 13th domestic camel races held at Royal Camel Race Course in the Wilaya of Barka. The event came to stress on the keenness of His Majesty to preserve this Oman heritage as well as to encourage camel breeders to pass the sports on to the next generation. The race witnessed wide participation of Omani camel breeders as well as the members of the society. The six rounds of the race witnessed uh, a tough competition among the participants through al Alva run and other race activities. The event included a number of traditional portraits of camel related arts as well as camel beauty activities in addition to performance of Omani traditional dances including al rasha and Al-Ayala. At the end of the event, His Excellency Mohammed bin Salim At-Tobi, Minister of Environment and Climate Affairs, who presided over the conclusion ceremony, presented His Majesty's Cup to the top winners, besides other awards and prizes to next hopers of all races. The Sultan obtained the seventh ranking at most attracting destinations for Islamic global travel market. As per the report of the Global Islamic Tourism Indicator 2016, published by the Mastercard and Crescent Rating. The research, which covered 130 world destinations, pointed out that the Sultan maintained his seventh ranking for the second successive year at the list of the Organization for Islamic Cooperation Countries with 70.3 points. Malaysia topped the list, followed by UAE, Turkey, Indonesia and Qatar, estimates forecast a growth in the number of travelers to 168 million passengers by 2020, which represents 11 percent of the travel sector. The Muslim passengers' expenditures is expected to exceed 200 billion U.S. dollars. The study pointed out that the number of Muslim travelers stood at 117 million in 2015, or 10% of the gross travel market. The Sultan was affected during the last days by an air trough, which led to moderate to heavy rains and caused wadis to, and tributaries to overflow. In the northern governorates of the Sultanate, 
Meanwhile, citizens and residents tend to spend their weekends in Wadi's locations after rainfall to enjoy the atmosphere. Rains also fell in the eastern mountains in the wilayat of Alhambra, government of Dakhiliya, which helped soften the atmosphere and in the vegetation growth in the mountains. Still to come on News Bulletin. Under the title Syria in the Shadows of Memory, the Minister of Heritage and Culture opens a photography exhibition for a Syrian artist. Welcome back to the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. Strengthening cooperation in field of contact between the Sultan and Britain topped discussions of His Excellency Abdulaziz Mohammed Arroas, advisor to His Majesty the Sultan for Cultural Affairs. When received Alex Icon, Executive Director for Government Liaison at the office of the British Prime Minister. They had talks on what had been achieved by British government communication programs. They had also viewed the latest reached by technology interaction and communication among various government sectors and members of the public. More than 60 participants of physicians and technicians of laboratories specialized in hematology and blood safe transfusion took part in a national workshop which came under the theme Science of Blood Transfusions. It focused on basic principles related to blood safe transfusion, providing a scientific and practical matter that helped to detect challenges in blood transfusion and concentrate on main requirements needed to be available at blood banks to ensure safety of blood donors and the patients who are the blood recipients. His Excellency Arkin Amir al Vice Chairman of the Permanent Committee of the National Council of People's Deputies of China and Head of Sino-Arab Friendship Society and his delegation visited Sultan's Armed Forces Museum. The guests acquainted with manuscripts and historical miniatures of Omani various architectural ancient arts at Beit al Falaj Fort. They also listened to a briefing on development in it received during the blessed Renaissance era. His Excellency the Vice Chairman of the Permanent Committee of the National Council of People's Deputies of China and Head of Sino-Arab Friendship Society also visited the National Museum. He toured along with his delegation halls of the museum which highlight Omani civilization in all historical epochs through the museum's contents and exhibits. The Ministry of Higher Education launched a magazine, Wama Yastarun, which laid a new brick in the information scene and interactive contact. The first issue contained a press opinion on the reality partnership between education and economy, where the magazine got op opinions of a number of experts, economists and academics. It also contained articles by a number of writers and literates at the Arab world level as well as a number of participations by students from inside and outside the Sultan, either through visual pieces or press materials.
The International College of Engineering and Management held a ceremony to mark the 20 years of its establishment. The ceremony included a visual show and various activities patronized by His Highness Said Kamil bin Fahd bin Mahmoud Al Said is considered an educational and vocational training institution in the Sultanate. Outcome of uh, the college held senior positions in various fields in industry, oil and gas, health and environment. Eleven batches of students graduated from this college. It offers training in the fire extinguishing and safety procedures. The national team is now playing against Guam team in Sultan Qaboos sports complex in Boshar. The match came within the qualifying matches for Russia Mondial 2018 and Asia Cup 2019. Everyone is excited to see the outcome of this match, especially the Omani citizens as well as those interested in football matches, wishing them all the best. Members of the Municipal Council got acquainted with the needs of some villages in Wilayat of Ibri, Governorate of Lahira, concerning water, roads and housing. That was accomplished during the field visit done by the members where they met with residents of the villages in order to set up different community developmental programs and raise the level of the rendered services. The Sur University College celebrated the graduation of 11th batch of students at levels of bachelor and diploma degrees, including specializations of IT and business management. The graduation ceremony included a number of activities and distribution of certificates to the graduated and excelled students. The graduates expressed that they are ambitious to get to the labor market and get a job to serve their country after hard work and efforts they exerted during the years of study. An application of a visa system was theme of a workshop which was held in the Wilayat of Sur and discussed the advanced passenger center system, visa system and visa information system that was launched at Muscat International Airport. During the workshop, mechanisms of applying the systems, technical and legal requirements applied in re registering data of hotel guests in the Sultan, data of incoming tourists through airports and land borders, as well as data of visitors coming by tourist cruise ships. The annual book fair was opened in the Governorate of Bufar. It was organized by the Omani Women Association in Salala with the aim of to encourage various segments of the society to read and develop their knowledge. The book fair was considered an opportunity for those who, who love reading to choose their favorite books from around 15,000 titles and publications including novels, stories for children as well as many books for students which contribute in developing the knowledge and improving starting level. The Minister of Heritage and Culture opened at Beit al-Zubair photography exhibition for the Syrian artist Fadi Masri Zadeh, titled Syria in the Shadows of Memory, under the patronage of His Excellency Sheikh Hamad bin Hilal al mamri Under Secretary of the Minister of Heritage and Culture for Cultural Affairs, and lasts until 7th of April. The exhibition included more than 70 photos which are the product of many different exper experiments and studies carried out by the artist Fadi in this area inside Syria. This exhibition stemmed from the Minister's keenness on cultural cooperation with the Arab countries through the participation and support of various artistic programs and activities including art exhibitions that contribute to the exchange of ideas and experiences between artists. Now for the general the forecast, partly cloudy to cloudy skies will prevail over the northern governorates with chances of rainfall with the varied intensity, occasionally thunderous and accompanied by active wind and hold 
and hail in the gun rates of Musandam, Muscat, North and South Batna, Bremi, Zahira, Dakhliya, North and South Sharfiya, and clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the gun rates of Bufar with chances of scattered rains. Winds will be southeasterly light to moderate, occasionally active on the most gun rates of the Salted, becoming northwesterly light to moderate on the coastal areas overlooking the Sea of Oman and gun rates of Bremi and Bahira. Seas will be rough on the coastal areas overlooking Silver Mound and the Garden Rate of Musandam and South Sharkia with maximum wave height of 2.5 metres, while on the coastal areas of the Garden Rate of Bufar and Worcester it will be slight to the maximum wave height of 1.25 metres. This is the Sultan of Oman Television. Before we tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Setting up of a Chinese industrial area in Dukhum Zone and expansion of container terminal in Sohar port is announced. The Royal Camel Corps wins His Majesty's Cup for camel races this year. And the Sultan maintained the seventh rank and the list of the most attractive destinations in Islamic global travel markets. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here in the newsroom and studios, have a good weekend. Good night.